Hi everyone, I thought I'd just throw this video out there. It's sort of in relation to a question that a lot of people ask me. I have sort of covered this before, but now I've got a practical example which hopefully will highlight a few things. Now, a lot of people will ask me, for my particular spec, Retribution Paladin, but this applies equally to anyone. Oh, what's best between this talent and this talent? Because although there are some talents you just basically never pick and there's some talents you just always pick, sometimes there's a couple of talents that in one situation are... are better than another or it's not even the situation it might just be based on the stats in your gear so there's a couple of talent rows that are like that for my class and it may well be for yours so what i've tended to do is first of all i've been trying to encourage people to sim themselves rather than try and find a set of stat weights for their class and spec which actually don't exist they exist much less in legion than they ever have before especially with titan forging things like that gears all over the place so I encourage people to sim their own stat weights, but then people say, well, you know, I, I, I sim my stat weights and I use those stat weights and I change a piece of gear and then I do the stat, stat weights again and it tells me to change back again. Well, you know, okay, sometimes that happens. Don't do it after every piece of gear. Do it after every major upgrade or as I do every week. So for me, this is just before I log off for the new reset. In Europe, we reset on Wednesday. So it's Tuesday night. So I've done some sims and... For these particular talents where it's on two of the rows, it's a choice between two, like I've done every week, I've simmed myself. Now what I have been using are two talents called Fires of Justice and um, Virtue's Blade. So I first of all simmed myself as I am raid ready for, for what I use for most of the raid bosses. Um, and this is the, the DPS that SimCraft is saying I should do in a patchwork type situation. Of course this is for a specific fight length and, and for a specific situation. Um, but for single target, which is, is my niche and, and what I want to focus on on bosses, this is pretty good. So then what I did is I changed from Fires of Justice to Zeal. That's one of the changes that I sort of investigate. And I simmed myself. And you can see it doesn't make a massive amount of difference. It's less than 1%, but it is lower. So do you know what? I'm going to carry on and use Fires of Justice at this point. So then I put that back and I changed the other talent instead in SimCraft and I say, okay, I'm going to change Virtue's Blade to Blade of Wrath. And I sim myself. And again, um, there's a small difference, less than 1%, but it's lower. So at this point I'm saying, okay, well, neither of those two things has actually come out with an overall DPS increase. Although it is worth noting that in each case the difference is less than 1%. And remember, this is for patchwork. Now, if either of those two talents are better for cleave, then in situations where I'm going to cleave, which always come up now and then, then maybe it just tips it over the edge. And because of that, and because the two talents that I've not been using for the last few weeks are better for cleave, I've thought to myself, well, I might still do it anyway. So what I've done is I've simmed myself with both changes. So rather than just one of the changes at a time, like there, I simmed myself with both. And what do we get when I've simmed myself? I now get a larger DPS increase. In fact, this is a 1% DPS increase, slightly over 1%. At this point, of course, I'm thinking, okay, so I'm definitely going to go for these now because even on single target, not each individual talent, if I just change one of those talents, it's not a DPS increase. But if I change both, it is. So the combination of those two means that it is an overall DPS increase on single target. And then, of course, for Cleave, an even bigger DPS increase. So this is my choice. Now I'm going to change talent. Now I thought I'd just throw this out there. First of all, to consider simming yourself each week, as I sort of suggest, unless you get a whack load of upgrades in a particular point of the week, in which case you might do it halfway through the week. But also to consider that sometimes it's you know, if there's several talents that might be better, if each individual one isn't necessarily a DPS increase on what you're currently using, Maybe a combination of them is. So you try out different combinations as well. Obviously, you know, if there's lots of talents that could potentially be better, you could end up with an exponential, uh, exponentially increasing number of combinations to check. Try and use your own understanding of the class and spec to narrow in on likely combinations that would be good. The other thing to bear in mind, now although I'm going to change, because I'm it, SimCraft is telling me that I am getting a better overall single target DPS increase, because of the changes in stats due to the new gear I've got this week. And also, I'm getting, obviously I'm going to get a better cleave DPS increase as well. I know that without running SimCraft, because I know that the two talents I'm changing to are better for cleave. But still look at it. 
it's a 1% increase. Now, when you make min-maxing, of course, you do want to look at 1% increases. But I just want a lot of people to just bear this in mind. You're probably going to lose what, the equivalent of that 1% extra DPS increase with a small mistake or just unfavorable conditions. Or maybe the fact that the fight isn't going to be as long as it's saying on this particular sim simulation. So also consider if you don't fancy changing to the two talents, think about how much of a DPS increase simulation craft is saying it's going to be. Because if, you, if it's telling you to change to talents that you're not comfortable with, you're actually likely to overall do less DPS. So don't be a martyr to it all. Unless a talent is clearly ahead, like by a large margin, if it's just a small margin, 1% or less, something like that, you can actually do without it if you prefer a different talent set. So I thought I'd just throw that out there just in case it was helpful, in case it's focused mind. And as I say, these sort of questions come up all the time for me. Hopefully it sort of answers a few there as well. Uh, I hope you found it interesting as always. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. And until next time, I'll see you later.